The biggest fashion event in Africa was held last night. In today's video, let's read the looks at the 10th edition of the AMVC. Among some of your favorite celebrities brought in their A-games, some of them came looking very silly. In today's video, let's read the best and worst looks of the evening. Before we proceed, as usual, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. Also, turn your notifications on to get notified whenever I drop related content. For those of you who do not know what the AMVC is, it's the African Magic Viewers Choice Award, basically an award show for movies and TV series. It has also become a platform which your favorite celebrities and influencers used in serving their best looks for the year and in today's video let's dive into these looks. Firstly we have famous fashion icon and red carpet host Takema Kewa. So she arrived in this gorgeous masterpiece by Vicky James and regularly I'm not surprised whenever Toki comes correct and delivers but this look is an exception. I was honestly gagged when I saw this. I'm obsessed with the structure and silhouette of the dress. The color looks really good on her as well. Now let's dive into the glam and accessories. I love the soft glam and the minimal accessorizing. I feel the dress alone speaks for itself and doesn't need so much accessorizing. The entire look is perfect and it's probably the best look we've ever gotten from Tokyo. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Next we have the MVC nominee Idia Asian. So she arrived in this gorgeous ensemble, which I believe was inspired by Gigi Adit's 2022 Met Gala look. Cause she gave it a little twist and changed the cat suit to a dress. In my personal opinion, I don't think I'm a fan of this dress. I feel the cat suit was a better option. I don't think I'm a fan of the shoes as well. They look quite funny to me. Although it's an amazing look, I feel the color looks amazing and they did a fantastic job with the jacket. I wish they had opted for a cat suit or a dress that fits better. The view looks beautiful and the hair looks amazing. I'd rate this a 7 out of 10. Next, we have the best dress at last year's MVCA Beauty Takura. So we all know Beauty was awarded the best dress at last year's AMVCE, which caused the controversy on the internet. Even this very ugly dress, and so many people felt she wasn't deserving of the title. But this year, I think she clearly understood the assignments and clearly came to slay. This looks very similar to Cardi B's 2024 Met Gala look. I don't know if this is a recreation or a coincidence. But regardless, I feel she looks very beautiful. The hair is on point, the makeup is on point. She's clearly living her baby girl fantasy. She looks like the definition of a pretty woman. I'd read this look an 8 out of 10. She looks incredibly beautiful. Speaking of baby, next we have our Nigerian Ken Saga. So Saga arrived in this Ken inspired look and just so you know the men did not come to play this time around they all brought in their air games. He's rocking a dramatic soft pink coat paired with matching pants and a white shirt underneath. I love this look. This looks unique and well done. I love that it's not one of those basic tuxedos that we get to see the men wear often. Not rich this look and 8 out of 10. This looks dashing in my opinion. Next we have Lorai KG serving extravaganza. <laughs> So I love an extravagant look, but this is a little too extra in my opinion. The dress is really beautiful, the color looks amazing on her, and it has an amazing structure. In my opinion, some of the details were unnecessary, for example, the train. It's already an overdramatic look, I don't think the train was needed, same as the stuff going on from the waist part downwards. I wish the added fabric was only at the top part, and the other parts of the dress were left plain, that would have made more sense. Anyways, I love that they kept the hair simple, the makeup looks amazing as well, same as the choker. I'll rate this look is 6 out of 10, it's a beautiful look. Next we have Adonia Ade in this vintage Hollywood look. Now we've seen vintage Hollywood inspired looks a billion times but this looks exceptional. I love the hair, I love the soft glam, I love the dress itself, I love the little bow details on the sleeves. This looks simple and perfect in my opinion and I'd rate this a 9 out of 10. She looks like an actual Hollywood star. Next we have the man of the moment, Timini. <laughs> So I love when the men make effort and this is clearly one of the looks that stood out for me. It's a pretty simple look but I feel the accessorizing added a little spice to the look. I feel the glasses were a little bit extra but regardless this look is given clean and classy. I would read this an 8 out of 10, it totally bodied this look. Next we have Lee Korn in this vintage look. I know I said the men did not come to play earlier and brought in their A-games, I believe this is an exception. I'm personally not a fan of this look, it's a really unique look but doesn't look properly executed. I wish the stuff on the sleeves were a little bit fuller, the neck piece as well do not match the inner coats. I understand the whole vintage aesthetics but I feel this team could have done better, I would rate this a 4 out of 10. Next we have Kobe B and Star V. So she arrived in this pretty pink lace dress. It's a pretty simple look, nothing exceptional but she slid regardless. My only issues with this outfit would have to be the detailing at the top part, it looks quite mediocre. The dress doesn't look AMVC award in my opinion, it's a pretty basic look but rates is a 5 out of 10, she looks very beautiful by the way. Next we have our famous ex, Neo. <laughs> Now this is what you call an AMVCA look. I'm obsessed with the detailing on this outfit. I believe this is inspired by a bleeding human body and they did an amazing job with the execution. I love looks that tell a story and this one clearly does. I love the pearls. I do wish the placements were a little bit more clean. But regardless, this is an out of the box look and it's a 9 out of 10 for me. Next we have controversial BBN star Tatcha. 
This looks very confusing and all over the place. I don't understand the concept behind this look. Majority of the detailing were very unnecessary. Handbag looks tacky. The corset top she has hanging on her shoulder looks very unnecessary. The train as well looks unnecessary. The dress itself is super busy. Having a train just makes it look worse. The choker looks very relevant and the hair looks super busy. Touch her, but I feel she has progressively gone down over the years when it comes to fashion. Her looks in recent events always looks like she's doing too much. I rate this a 5 out of 10 for efforts made. Next we have Kobe B and Queen Liquoros. <laughs> This looks quite basic in my opinion. The structure doesn't look exciting, neither does the fabric. It's a beautiful and simple look and would have been perfect for some other red carpets, not the AMVCA. The Quarrel's fashion sense has been upgrading recently, so I'm quite surprised with this look. Not an awful look, but it's a basic look and I'd reach this a 6 out of 10. This we have Nollywood Badi Uche Montana in custom Vicky James Koto. <laughs> She arrived in this gorgeous see-through number. I'm obsessed with this look. It's giving Met Gala worthy. It looks synonymous to Kim K's 2015 Met Gala look. The detailing on the outfit was perfectly done. I mean, attention was crystal clearly paid to every single detail. Zicky James has really been serving lately, and this look was no exception. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. I mean, imagine this train on the iconic Met Ball stairs. Next, we have the self-acclaimed queen mother, Yabo Ju. <laughs> All I can say is take off the train. This is a beautiful dress, but the train made it look terrible. The train looks tacky and doesn't match the outfit. The outfit on its own is quite busy. I don't know what the designer was thinking when he or she decided to add this train. Anyways, aside the train, it's a really beautiful outfit. And makeup as well looks super beautiful. I'd rate this a 6 out of 10. Next, we have Tomika in this custom jumpsuit. <laughs> This looks very unique and well detailed and she looks perfect in this outfit. It's a very unpredictable look and she totally bodied this look. The tailoring is perfect, the beading is so clean and the color looks so good on her. This is clearly an exceptional look and one of the looks that stood out from last night's event. I read this a 9 out of 10, I totally love this look. Next we have famous BBN buddy Angel JB Smith. <laughs> This look is quite simple but still very beautiful. The color looks so good on her and I'm obsessed with the glam. Makeup looks very dewy and the hair is simple and perfect. I love the structure of the dress as well. It suits her body types so well. It's a really pretty look but quite simple and I'd rate it a 7 out of 10. Next we have Cole Baby and Buddy Tolani Badge. <laughs> So she arrived in this pretty eye slit dress. I like the structure of the dress. It's super sexy, but I can't say the same for the fabric. The fabric looks cheap in my opinion and it's giving Merry Christmas. As this is a beautiful outfit. It's super sexy and risky. The back view looks beautiful as well and I'd rate this a 6 out of 10. Next we have Diane in this high slit ball dress. <laughs> I love the structure of this outfit as she totally bodied this look. I love the hairdo and minimal accessorizing as well as the shoes. I can't find no fault with this look. It's a beautiful look but not an exceptional look. I'd rate this an 8 out of 10. She totally bodied this look. Next we have Osas Godaro in custom Vicky James. <laughs> So she arrived in this masterpiece by Vicky James and it looks clean and perfectly tailored. I love the entire concept and detailing. It doesn't look like a typical Vicky James piece but still looks incredibly beautiful. She clearly understood the assignment and delivered a jaw-dropping look. The glam as well looks subtle and elevates her natural beauty. This is a 10 out of 10 for me, no fault detected. Next we have famous Nigerian singer Yemoli. <laughs> It looks elegant, smart, and polished in this tuxedo. I love the way it kept it simple but still ate this look up. This looks quite basic but very clean and sophisticated. I would rate this an 8 out of 10. We have famous Nollywood actor Alex Ekubo. <laughs> This looks quite interesting and really good. In my personal opinion, the inner coat was a little bit unnecessary. Kind of made the entire look seem quite busy. Regardless, it's a good look and I'd rate this a 7 out of 10. Next, we have BBN star Bisola. <laughs> it's a simple body organ sequin dress. Kind of like the detailing at the top part of the dress. And I love the simplicity of the look and the minimal accessorizing. I mean, Bisola always keeps it simple, so this doesn't come as a surprise. I'd rate this an 8 out of 10. Next, we have famous Nigerian old stable couch. <laughs> So we arrived in this amazing look by Maya Tafo and it as usual. I love the color and sparkly fabric. It looks so classy and properly adorned. I mean it's Ibuka, I never expect anything less and it always delivers. In my personal opinion, Ibuka and Maya Tafo have collectively raised the bar for men in the Nigerian fashion industry. I'm honestly in love with the entire look and I rate this a 9 out of 10. Next we have veteran actress and current queen of Nollywood, Funke Akindele. <laughs> She's wearing custom Vicky James piece and as usual she's keeping it simple but still serving. I love the simplicity of the look and love how classy and timeless it looks. Hair looks timeless as well and I love the simple accessorizing. This looks clean and elegant and makes her look like a refined woman. It's an 8 out of 10 for me. Now we have the best look of the evening which is no other than Nana. <laughs> So she arrived in this gorgeous white ensemble. This looks really unique and out of the box. The headpiece looks super clean and well crafted. I love the little purse as well and I'm obsessed with the entire details. I love how snatched her waist is and I love the glowy makeup. In my personal opinion, Nana should officially be named the queen of the AMVCA. She consecutively serves the best look at the AMVCA and no one even comes close. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. I love the structure. Speaking of fashion queen, next we have Chama Goodhead. <laughs> 
So she arrived in this custom wisdom Franklin dress, looking regal as always. This is a really beautiful and extravagant look. It's given golden girl. It's given high fashion and next level couture. Wisdom Franklin and Choma always create fantastic looks. I believe they are both taking couture in the Nigerian fashion industry to a whole new level. I love the whole extravaganza that comes with this look and it's a 10 out of 10 for me. And of course, you know Chama to be extra and to have a second look. So this is still custom with some Franklin. Looks entirely different from the first look but still very beautiful. I love the silhouette of this dress and I love the glam as well. This looks super glamorous and I would rate this an 8 out of 10. Next, we have Cole Real Housewives of Lagos housemates and fashion designer Tiana Empire. She arrived in a custom piece by a brand and of course it had to be something funny. I don't know what the inspiration or context behind this look is but I must say I actually do like the structure. It's an interesting structure but the idea of using sack as the fabric is quite funny. I mean at the end of the day it's Tiana Empire and this is a sort of style. I'd rate this a 5 out of 10. Next we have Queen of the Music Industry, Tiwa Savage. So she arrived in this simple looking dress. It's a beautiful piece but very flat for the MVCA. This would have been perfect for a birthday dinner but definitely not the MVCA. Overall, it's a super sexy look and I'd rate this a 6 out of 10. Lastly, we have veteran actor RMD. So I arrived in this amazing regalia styled by Swanky Jerry. I love the fabric and I love the embroidery as well. The outfit looks properly tailored and it looks like royalty in this outfit. I would rate this an 8 out of 10. It's a really good look in my opinion. So now it's time to choose the best and worst dress. And for worst dress we have this. I don't know who she is but I know this looks quite tacky and creepy. From the headpiece to the dress itself, it's all giving masquerade vibe. In my personal opinion, this was the worst dress. And for best dress, we have Nana as I said earlier. This is a masterpiece and should be an archival piece. Anyways, we had a second look from Tacha and this is a way better look. Super beautiful and better than what she had on initially. And the color looks really good on her as well. Anyways guys, we've come to an end of today's video. And this is the review on the 10th edition of the AMVCA. The 2024 AMVCA is definitely one of the best so far. We had so many interesting looks. And be sure to let me know your opinions on these looks. Would you feel deserved best dressed? And would you feel was the worst dressed? As usual, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Also turn your notifications on to get notified whenever I drop related content. And be sure to check my page for more celebrity fashion and lifestyle content let me know what sort of videos you'd like to see next in the future if you've come this far thank you for sticking with me to the very end bye for now and see you in my next video remember i review events and happenings in the nigerian entertainment industry so if you're interested in those sorts of content be sure to check my page bye guys see you in my next video